Welcome to our Islet video so you can learn more about interactive readers. Islet's interactive reader assignments are leveled readers that align with individual student reading levels. These include reading checkpoints to assess comprehension and writing portions for practice on writing summaries and answering critical response questions. Depending on the version used in your classroom, students complete the interactive reader assignment weekly or every other week. If your students are working in the newcomer module of ILET ELL, they will not see the interactive reader assignment during that unit. Before sending out the first interactive reader, we recommend your students finish and submit the grade assessment. This will allow the program to level the interactive readers to your students' functional levels at a quicker pace. Once your students have submitted the grade assessment, click on the name of the assignment, then click Send to Class. Now ILET will automatically send out the appropriate level of interactive reader based on your student's score on the grade assessment. Once your students submit the interactive reader for that week, you will be notified on your assignments tab that it's time to score the critical response. Click on score so you can use the rubric to grade the student's critical response pieces. Remember, the program automatically scores answers to the comprehension questions and the summary writing. If you feel your students need to redo the critical response portion, you can click Reassign to Student and provide your own feedback so they can work on that portion again. You will be notified on the Assignments tab how many times you've sent it back to the student to be reworked. When you are ready to score the assignment, you will use the rubric that is built into the scoring of the interactive reader. You will be asked to score on a scale of 1 to 4 the student's writing based on their ideas, connections, and analysis of the text, the organization of their response, the style and voice they used, as well as any grammar and spelling mistakes. Once you accept the student's score, you will now see the raw score on the Assignments tab. This score will then guide which level of interactive reader that student will receive the following week. For the leveling to work accurately, you must score your student's interactive readers when you are notified. Otherwise, students may continue working on a level of interactive reader that is either too difficult or too easy for them. You can still send the interactive reader assignment to your students without having them submit the grade assessment. Be aware that without data for the grade assessment, ILET will send every student the same level of interactive reader. Then the student's performance on their individual interactive readers that week will determine the level of interactive reader they receive the following week. If you do know that your students will not take the grade assessment prior to sending out that first interactive reader, you can change the default level of just that first interactive reader. You may want to change the default level if you know your class as a whole typically performs below average or may typically perform above average. The default level can only be changed before sending out that first interactive reader. If you are using ILET 20 in your classrooms, students should still complete the beginning of year grade assessment first so that they receive the level that's most appropriate to their functional level. An automatic setting in ILET 20 will automatically send the next interactive reader assignment once the students have completed the interactive reader for that current week. In the manual setting, you will need to score the current week's interactive reader before sending out the interactive reader for the next week. To help your students complete the writing portions of the interactive reader, we do have a graphic organizer that they can fill out as they read through the text during the assignment. That organizer is attached to the email you received with this video link. For any additional questions and to view more resources, please go to My Pearson Training to view free on-demand videos, to reach out to an ILET specialist, or to request a free webinar or Q&A session. Thanks for watching.